Hello there. This is going to be a quick overview of my favorite writing tool of all time, the Zenith SuperSport 286. Although this particular one is actually branded as an HP Vectra LS12, as you can see by the badging. However, I will continue to refer to it as a Zenith S, that is really what it is. I always admired the design on these machines, as they were quite modern looking for their time, and as you can see the hinge design is very clever, it allows for an almost infinite number of adjustments, up to 180 degrees. However, the main attraction here truly is the keyboard. This laptop has what could possibly be the best keyboard that was ever put in a laptop. And I mean ever. This being a 286 class machine, it is equipped with a high density floppy drive as well as a PS2 style keypad port. My machine is also equipped with 2 megabytes of memory, which is more than enough memory for dust based applications. And I have also configured a very minimalistic menu using Dust Shell. I've installed three applications Microsoft Word, Microsoft Works, as well as a very minimal terminal application in order to transfer large applications back and forth if I need to. Word is the main application I use here. And although it is quite ancient by today's standards, it is still very useful. The keyboard, as I mentioned earlier, is a marvel. It is uh, based on Alps mechanical switches, and it uses full height keys. It really feels like a desktop keyboard from that era. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit here, but that is because I am typing diagonally. However, that will give me an opportunity to show you my point when it comes to the utility of an old version of Word. As old as it may be, it still has some of the same features as modern versions, including a full feature spell checker. And it really does a good job at predicting the word that I was trying to type. Of course, being full future means that you can actually add words as well. So there's a lot of modern uh, lexicon based on the internet these days, and I'm sure a lot of those words are not going to be available there. So you just add them if needed. One nice feature about this laptop is it uses a CGA double scan display. It is really quite crisp, and the blue shade that it uses is actually quite nice on the eyes, believe it or not. Another reason I chose Word over other word processors of the same vintage is due to the file format itself. It makes it really easy to transfer files between this laptop and modern systems with modern versions of Word, as you can still read them without any sort of special conversion. So as you can see, it's a very minimalistic installation, and it is very focused. The purpose of this laptop is for distraction-free writing, and it does a really good job at it. As a side bonus, I added Microsoft Works in order to have both a spreadsheet and a database application in the event that I ever decide to do any sort of inventorying using this machine. Having owned this particular machine for almost two decades now, I have come to really admire its engineering, its usefulness, and that sweet, sweet Alps space keyboard. Really, this is the absolute best keyboard on any laptop ever. I cannot stress that enough. So if you ever have a chance to own one of these in good condition, and you like to do a lot of writing, do not hesitate to do so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the Zenith SuperSport 286. Thank you for watching.